All right, Jake Phelps here. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make a floating corner shelf. Floating as in it has nothing supporting it except for the studs that are gonna be in your walls, okay? First step of this is you got to have this piece right here, okay? What this is, it's just a thin piece of plywood. It's like 3 eighths, and it's just this one by one. That's all it is, this part right here. And you wanna build this separate from this because putting it together like I'm going to show in the end of this uh, this contraption and what makes it simple all right so basically the lengths and, and whatnot on, on this are as follows that's 32 inches and you see I got the 45s there and there there and there so you're going to need to cut four 45 degree angles so this thing fits like a glove. And you really could just um, not even connect it. And I mean, there's a lot you could do here. You know, it's a really cool, it's a really cool concept. It's a really, um, you know, there's a lot you could do with this. The most important thing here is you want to go ahead and use three inch drywall screws, what I used, nothing fancy. And you want to have two in each one of these okay and this is just this part right here is going to be the first thing you cut so you just kind of all you got to do is just cut a corner off of a piece of plywood straight 45 degree angle right there and then you can kind of work from there you know you might not be the exact same here you can make these any size you want but you can just use this as a template and with these, then you can just kind of, you know, once you have this together, you can just build these off of this without a whole bunch of um, complicated math. And, you know, you can just kind of use that and put this in a vise or something and then just make one, clamp it on there, and then strike it. And then, you know, just build the rest. You can just, you can just start with this and just build this. You don't gotta draw it all out. It doesn't have to be some complex thing, which is really the really cool part about this. And you do not wanna make a, um, you don't need to make a 45 back here. It doesn't need to look fancy. You just do straight edges. Plus it'll be easier to put up when, you, um, when you're putting this up. And especially with those, with putting, putting the one by ones on the wall, which is the second part you do after you build this part. You want to make sure that you, um, you drill first. You drill your holes first. Like what I do, I just hold it up there. And um, just, you know, put a level on it. And this thing's perfectly level. And when I'm doing the one-by-ones on the wall, that is. I just kind of hold it up there. I started with the long one that was butted in the corner. Just held it up and just did my pilot hole and then put a screw in. They came over here, did this pilot hole, and then put a screw in there as well. The reason I didn't do two pilot holes at the same time was um, so that I wouldn't lose my spot. This thing is perfectly level. And then as far as connecting, connecting this piece of plywood on the top, I just use uh, one and a quarter inch screws. And that's, that's where I'm going to go ahead and finish, finish up here with this. I want to find my center. Right about there. Get everything lined up. And with one buys, you, um, and since this is going to be showing, you know, once the product's complete, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, space everything and make it look halfway decent. Alright, now I've got everything um, 
just about where I want to make all my all my holes and whatnot. You know, I could have done a whole lot of real complicated math to make it all exact, but you know, I kind of mix a little bit of eyeball in it with um, you know, a little bit of a little bit of math. So the next step is drilling. And with drilling, I'm gonna to want to do two. All right, and with the pilot holes, what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna go ahead and do one first, one pilot hole, and then put a screw in there. And then I'm gonna come back here and do one pilot hole and then put another screw in there. And the reason I'm doing them one at a time is so that, you know, I can hold my center. You know, once I get my first one, I'm gonna want, I'm gonna want to, you know, if I want to, if I need to mess with it before the second one, because after the second one's in, the second pilot hole is done. I mean, there's not a whole lot of going back, and then especially after the second screws in there, and that's pretty much, you know, where this thing is gonna stay. So that's why that's really important. And you can measure to make sure, you know, it's all perfect, but I mean, it looks about right, so. And you just want to go in, since you're using one quarter inch screws, you're only going to want to go in a little, around an inch. And the reason that is, is because you're going to want the heads of these screws to actually go into the plywood without cracking anything. So the trick to that is the right depth pilot hole is very important with that because if you go too deep, once the, the tip of the screw hits a certain spot, it, it won't be able to keep gripping and pull it into the plywood. And you have to do your pilot holes because if you don't, you'll crack some wood. So you got to find a real happy medium with that stuff. And it's very important. Okay, there's my first one. And it doesn't look like I had any movement or anything, which is cool. And it's still right where I want it. So I'm just coming, I mean, I could do another one there. It would still hold, but. Everything you're fighting for